in the earlier lecture, you have understood the format in which the proposal for action research is to be written and after having written that proposal, you may send it to the funding agency and once you get the required funds for it or even if your school gives you the money required to conduct the action research, you may carry that out. And once it is done, then how exactly the report has to be written? Because the carrying on the action research, if you do not write its report, it will be only up to you. The others may not benefit from this action research, others may not learn about the action research. So, it is important that a report is to be written. Now, under this I will like to tell you the points kept in mind while writing the report and another will be the format of writing the action report. The one of the point is that report be written in the past tense. I have already told you that the proposal should be written in the future tense and it was so because you were proposing. Now, since you have already conducted the action research, now you want to write, now you want to document it. So, it is important that the action research report is to be written in the past tense. You will use only the present tense if you want to give information or describe information given in the table. Otherwise, most of the writing will be in the past tense. It should be impersonalized. That means, when you are writing the report, it is important not to use words like I, we, he, she, etcetera. Since it is systematic, therefore, the use of such words is prohibited. Another is it should be concise, give that information which is relevant, which is important for the reader to understand your action research. So, do not write even a sentence which does not help the reader to understand the action research conducted by you. So, your writing should be very, very precise and concise. Then it should be self explanatory. Try not to use some of the words which may have multiple meaning, write words which gives one and only one meaning. So, that when one writes one understands what exactly you as a action researcher want to convey to the reader. Next is it is important to write simple sentences rather than the complex sentences. This I have already explained that simple sentences are easy to understand. Another is only relevant information be given under appropriate headings. You have to write the report under different headings. So, give information whatever is relevant to that heading. Then short form of words should not be used. So, try to avoid the use of the short forms. For example, for student sometime people write st, for teacher 
sometime people write T R. So, try to avoid such type of words which may be interpreted differently by the reader. Next is that the information given in the table should have appropriate title. This is important. Many a times while writing the report, the table is to be made because some information is to be given in that particular table and it must have a title. So, the title should only reflect what is given in that particular table. So, writing title is important, it is quite technical in nature, you cannot write the title whatever you like. Next is the numerical values should be given up to two decimal points. This is important from the point of view, the tools used in action research, they are not very sensitive. As you will find the tools used by scientist or by medical doctors, they are very sensitive. So, there you may have the values up to 4 decimal places or even more, but in action research try to keep only up to 2 decimal, because if you give values beyond that you may give a impression to the people that your tools were very sensitive, which may not be. Another is do not give data which is not used in interpretation. Sometime as a researcher, you may be over enthusiastic and may like to give more information and that you might not have used it during interpretation. If such information is given, then the reader may not really understand the necessity of giving such information, the importance of giving such information. So, just give the information only that which you require in the interpretation or which you require to answer the questions which you have already written under objectives. Now, after having understood the points to be kept in mind while writing the action research report. Now, let us try to understand the different headings under which the report is to be written. Now, this report should not be written in different chapters. It is advis advisable not to do so, because it is a very small piece of work and therefore, you may not be able to write that type of research report, which normally the people who are doing doctoral work they write. So, your report has to be very, very concise and precise. Now, the different headings under which you will be writing the action research report, number one is that 1.0 introduction. As soon as the 0 comes, your all letters must be capital. This is the rule. Whenever 0 is not there, if it is 1.1, then your the word, the first letter must be capital and rest can be in the it italics. So, here because it is the imp the first caption. So, 1.0 is introduction. Under this caption as a action researcher, you should write that your action research pertains to which aspect. Now, if it pertains to teaching, then you should say that the action research taken up relates to the teaching methodology and then what information you will be giving in the report and the information 
to be given will be under headings like rational, statement of problem, objectives, sample, tools, the experimental design, the procedure of data collection, data analysis, results and interpretation and finally, the discussion. So, this must be written under introduction, so that the reader after having read the introduction will come to know the sequence in which the information has been given and under which headings the information is given. Now, next you have to write the rationale, its number is 2.0 will be the caption number and rationale. Sometime some of the researcher may like to write in place of rationale the need and importance that is also a valid title, but if you want to write the caption heading as rational is perfectly correct. Now, under this rational you as a action researcher must write why this action research was taken by you. This is important so that the reader can understand that because of such situations, because of such conditions, because of such results, the action research was necessitated and therefore, you have taken up the action research. Here, you may give some of the data related to your classrooms, related to your teaching related to the performance of the students. Now, the rational has to be such, so that the reader can understand it the need of conducting this action research. Once you have written this and it has to be written in the past tense, some of the information under rational may be given in the present tense, but the next caption heading is statement of problem and here the number is 3.0. Now, this is statement of problem has to be written in the past tense and it is the same statement which you have already given in proposal. So, therefore, you can just copy and paste in this particular case. And here I am just reproducing from the proposal, and it should be written something like that problem was worded as given below. This is the title which we have already seen under proposal, and it is effectiveness of mathematics class work in terms of achievement in mathematics of class fifth students of central school number 1 New Delhi. So, therefore, if you have written the title precisely in your proposal, then while writing the report it is just a mechanical thing you can copy and paste. Next is you should write the objective. Now, for this proposal which you have already seen, we had one objective and here under the heading of objective, you can write the objective was worded as given below and this objective may be taken as it is from the proposal of the action research, because you cannot change your objective here it has to be in the same words. Once you have done that, then we must write another caption titled as delimitations and its number is 5.0. See, whenever 
you do a action research or for that matter any research, it cannot have cannot be unlimited. There has to be some limitations and there may be further limitations of the limitations and therefore, it is called delimitations. Now, delimitations may be in terms of the method that you have tried, it may be in terms of the size of the sample that you have, it may be in terms of the tool that you have used. So, these are some of the things which you will be mentioning, which you will be writing under the delimitations. Next caption is sample and its number is 6.0. Now, when you are writing the research report, you should describe the sample in as much detail as not impossible. While describing the sample, you should give information with respect to the size of the group that means, what was the size whether there were 25 students or 23 students etcetera, etcetera. Then you should also write the main characteristics of the group such as that if in the class there were boys and girls, then we should say that out of so many students take enough for action research so many were boys and so many were girls. Try to give information related to the type of the families to which they belong. Try to give some information with respect to their family structure, because most of the time you might have understood that whatever goes on in the school is one thing but the students are affected by whatever goes on outside the classrooms. So, therefore, knowing the background of the students will help the reader in understanding your action research. So, do not leave any important information which you feel will help the person to understand your action research. So, include all characteristics of the group. Next is the tool. Now, in the proposal you have already mentioned the tools which you will be using in order to collect the information. Under this you should write the name of the tool as used in collecting the data. You should tell the total number of the items or the questions given in that particular test, if you have written a test. If you have if some fixed time or no limit on the time, then you should mention that for taking up the achievement test or for taking up this particular test or for answering this particular question, then whether there was a time fixed or there was no fixed time. Now, this is important because the finding of your action research to a great extent will depend on the tools which you have used and you cannot add or subtract the characteristics of the tool, because whatever you have used in conducting the action research that has to be reproduced as it is. You have also seen that when you wrote a proposal, you had collected some of the information related to whatever happened during the class and that was in terms of some of the interviews 
conducted by you. So, whatever the tool that you have used other than the test should also be mentioned here. Next is the experimental design. As I have already said that some of you might see this word quite new to you or you may not be knowing much about it, but do not get frightened. It is easy to understand you have been doing experiment. So, therefore, there are some experimental designs. Now, what we should do is when we are writing the report, we should mention the name of the intervention or the name of the treatment. Now, if you see the proposal, there the intervention was the class work. So, therefore, here when you are writing the report, you should mention the treatment or the intervention name, the class work. Then you should also give information related to the duration that how long the class work was given and what type of class work was given. So, therefore, the duration of the intervention or duration of the treatment is important. If you refer to your proposal, you had proposed that the class work will be given for one month. So, therefore, whatever you had thought of beforehand and whatever actually you did, then that has to be reported here. This is important from the point of view of understanding your findings, because if the treatment time changed, your finding may also be changed. Next is you should also explain how you have assessed the different variables such as achievement test in mathematics. This achievement test was a tool which was used to assess achievement in mathematics. So, how this particular variable achievement in mathematics was assessed and you know very well in the proposal it was given that before giving the class work the achievement test in mathematics will be administered which will be termed as pre test. Then the class work will be given and after having continued with the class work for one month at the end of one month the same achievement test in mathematics or a parallel achievement test in mathematics be given. So, this is what you have to mention under the experimental design. Now, next is the procedure of data collection. This should be written in as much detailed as not impossible, because it is this procedure which other teachers will read in order to understand how have you conducted, how have you carried on the action research. So, it should be given in details and the details may pertain to the intervention or to the treatment, its duration and how the variable has been assessed, whether you have assessed it before the treatment as well as after the treatment or you have not done so. Next is how the data were collected with the help of the structured interview schedule and observation schedule. As you had mentioned in your proposal that data will be collected in respect of achievement in mathematics by using test as well as information by using structured interview schedule and observation schedule. So, how 
exactly these tools were used during the process of data collection should be mentioned very clearly. Then any information which is relevant to the reader to understand your action research should be given and it should be self explanatory. Once you have done this, the next step is the data analysis. If you refer to your proposal, you will know that in the proposal under data analysis, you had mentioned the different techniques to be used for analyzing the data. If you have used the same techniques to analyze the data, then you have to mention them one by one under data analysis and you should write the data were analyzed with the help of this and this statistical technique. In this particular one example, I have written that quantitative data were analyzed with the help of correlated t test. Now, if you have not used this correlated t test, whatever the statistical technique that you have used, you can mention it there. If you have also plotted some graph, then you can mention that bar graph for mean scores of mathematics at pre and post stages were plotted. So, these are the mean scores of achievement in mathematics. So, therefore, bar graph for mean scores of achievement in mathematics at pre and post stages were was plotted you can mention that. Then you had also collected the information using the interview schedule and observation schedule. Then whatever the information that you gathered you should do the content analysis and when you are doing this content analysis this is what the technique you have used to analyze the data. Once you have done that the next caption is results and interpretation and its number is 11.0. Now, under this the opening sentence should be that the objective of this action research was such and such and the data were analyzed with the help of this and this technique and the results are given in this particular table. After having written these two sentences, then you should give a table and the table should have appropriate title and the table should contain the information related to those variables which you want to give. Once you have made this table, then you should interpret the result. The interpretation of the result is very important and in action research whatever results you have got you should just report that do not bother what might be the outcome of that report. So, therefore, if you have used correlated t test to analyze the data then you should give the information under the table and then you should interpret the t test. This interpretation of the t test you can ask any one of your colleague or if you do not know then you can send me the mail and I can tell you how exactly the interpretation of your result has to be done. At the end of the interpretation you will come across a sentence which indicates your finding and your finding should be very very specific and it should be precise. So, that any reader can understand that yes this was the outcome of the action research. 
once it is done then next try to write the discussion. This is little bit difficult, but not impossible to write the discussion. All those who do not have language problem, I think discussion will be very simple and easy for people who have good mastery over the language. Under the discussion, the opening sentence should be that this action research finding was this and this. Now, you should give argument in respect of this particular finding. Why have you got such a finding? And this has to be keeping in mind the complete situation under which the action research was undertaken. It also to be written keeping in mind the tools which you have used etcetera. Now, this discussion may give you new ideas to redo the same action research again by changing some of the things and this discussion may not be a too long, it may be one page, but do not write any extra sentence. Once you have written discussion, it is quite possible that you might have referred some of the books or you might have referred or some of the articles from the journals which your school might be getting. The NCRT is publishing many journals which relates to the school subjects and if you are getting them and by chance if you have used some of the articles published in those journals, then you should write the references and once you have written that, then your report is complete. Do not bother about the number of the pages. The important is the information given under different headings is appropriate and you have not written a sentence which does not help the reader to understand the information. So, I hope that you have understood the format in which the report of action research is to be written. In the next lecture, I will like to explain about the case study, because it is important to conduct some of the case studies. So, I will be giving different informations about the case study. Mm -hmm.